Hello everybody! In this tutorial we're going to take a quick look at some settings that will allow you to customize the look of your Google Mail inbox and add some functionality. Each of these will make your Google inbox look a little bit more like an Outlook inbox. The first thing we're going to look at is Conversation View. Conversation View is the default setting in Google and it takes incoming and outgoing messages, puts them all together in a conversation. So anytime there are replies back and forth, you see them all grouped together. Some people like that, some people not so much. To turn that off, just go to the settings gear, click, click on settings, scroll a little bit, and right next to the conversation view off, click on the radio button. We do need to scroll down and save the changes. Then when our inbox opens back up, no more numbers, everything is now listed separately. You can go back and forth at will. If you decide to go back to the conversations view, Google finds all of those messages that go together and puts them back together. The other two things we're going to add here are in labs. So we go back to the settings gear again, click on settings, and we go to the tab that says labs up at the top. Labs are where Google test drives different features. These features are not a standard part of Google yet, but they may eventually become a standard part of Google. And we're going to find two that we're going to click on here. The first one is Google Calendar. This is going to put a calendar in the sidebar of your mailbox. And then my favorite is Preview Pane. I really like the Preview Pane. A lot of times I want to see more information than is available just in that little bit of information on the message line. So click on Save Changes. When my mail box opens back up. There we go. So I've got my calendar here on the side. As long as my cursor is in the sidebar, that calendar will come and go. So if I need to work with the labels on the sidebar, that calendar jumps out of the way. Scroll back down and there it is. You can adjust you can adjust how much of that calendar is going to be seen. And then as soon as you leave the left sidebar, the calendar stays put. So as long as you're in the left sidebar, it's going to jump out of the way and then jump back. As soon as you're out of the sidebar, your calendar's back and it's not going to move until you're playing around over there again. Now. I enabled the preview pane, but we don't see it yet. If we go here and click on vertical split, there's my split. There's no preview because I didn't select anything yet. As soon as you click on a message, then the preview pops into that preview pane. If you like your preview pane on the bottom, you can make a horizontal split. Again, you'll need to click on a message in order for it to open up there. If I decide I want to do something with the message, I can click on any of the buttons up at the top and apply that action to the message that's open here. I could click to select and then here, but that's not necessary. If you're working with your um, mailbox and you want to see more messages, you can choose to make the preview pane smaller. The other option is to go back up to no split and it's gone. When you're ready for it again, bring it back. So just a few small things that may make your Google inbox a little bit easier to work with. Thanks for watching.